Yo guys, uh, Big Cry, three, ten, um, <clears throat> my voice is kind of sore, um, from, you know, screaming so much, I'm gonna try to talk as low as I can, I can elevate my voice a little, but I choose not to, because it's not good, um, okay, a couple things first, I finally finished, the anthology. Done. Completed. You'll get my hard truths tomorrow. It's, a, it's like 11 o'clock over here. I'm gonna try to watch this. And I know it's a long show, because I remember Supercard of Honor 1 was like five, 5 or 6 hours. I'm gonna try to watch the whole show, and then give your hard truths tomorrow. Yes, before some smart ass acts. Yes, I do know the 7th anniversary show comes before Supercard of Honor 4, as well as Double Feature 2. I mean, Double Feature 2 comes after, but then I cut above, and then the 4th of July sale, which I, uh, <clears throat> which I, uh, just, uh, ordered last night. You see, the 4th of July sale is 30% off. I, I recommend you going for it. Um, I think I got, like, you know, yeah, the bear's back. He's here to, my eyes are kind of swollen too. Um, 30% off uh, for your ROH duties. I ordered... Three through my PayPal account, which I got from selling the eBay videos. Um, so yeah, I recommend you go to the ROH. The sale on Tuesday. If you don't know what to get, go to my list. Go to go to my channel on my list, and you see my list. Get anything from there, and you'll be fine. Um, eBay is back up. I lowered the prices. I know a lot of people complain that I jacked up the prices too much. I don't care anymore. I'm not going to use these anymore. So even I don't care if I get my, the exact same amount of money that I got the first time. I lowered the prices significantly. So if you go to my page, I lower the prices. Some by like $5, some by like 10 Go check. Go to eBay. The link will be in the description box. Um, also, uh, before we get to the edge thing, Steve McNair. Wow. You know what? David Carradine. Ed McMahon, Michael Jackson, Farrah Fawcett, Billy Mays, Steve McNair, Carl Malden. For those of you who don't know, Carl Malden, the famous actor, died also. He was 97. And if you want to throw in Exodus Tyson, Mike Tyson's four-year-old daughter, then yeah, you can throw her in too. That's eight. Oh my God, this is a bad week. I was a little upset when I heard about it. I love Steve McNair as a kid. Uh, I, I started like really getting into football. No, it was either the year before or two years before. He shared the MVP with uh, Peyton Manning, and um, I, and I thought he should have won in my opinion, because Titans as a team, you know, didn't have that many weapons. Peyton Manning had a shitload of weapons on the Colts, and Steve McNair was by far the best player. He made that Titans team, so I really want to see McNair to win it that year. But especially since Payton's already won two more. I love Steve McNair as a kid, and I'm upset that he was shot. It's scary. Now let's go, go to Edge. Um, <clears throat> let's go to Edge. Honestly, I don't think this is as big as a deal as everyone says. Everyone's been saying, oh my god, Edge is gone, Edge is gone. The future of wrestling is over. We don't have Edge anymore. Oh my fucking god, SmackDown's gonna suck now. No. John Morrison, in my opinion, was never fully a main eventer. I heard he challenged for the world title. And Edge gone, definitely, he's a main eventer. They're asking me which heel will step up easily. Dolph Ziggler. Jerry even said that Dolph Ziggler they're trying to push. And now that Edge is gone, boom. Pff, Dolph Ziggler, push. Punk, definitely he's got to turn heel. I'm sorry. If WWE had any still doubts on um, maybe, we, maybe we can turn Punk tweener, we can still kind of turn face. Hell no. He has, he has to be heel. And a pretty good heel too. And then you got Pippin Jericho and Ziggler. And then you have... Ray, Jeff, Morrison, and Taker when Taker comes back. So really, it's not the end of the world. The WB has moved on without Edge in the past, and they will again. Okay? So everyone, please stop going insane. They're like, oh my god, this well-thought-out tag team storyline, that's going to go down the drain. A, they might continue. I said might. 
I don't expect it to, but it might continue the storyline when Edge comes back. And B, it was a last minute decision. So if you're thinking they had any big plans for it, they, they really didn't. They had like a week to think of good plans. At the, at the bash, literally, last minute is when uh, when uh, they, uh, they made the decision. So I guarantee they didn't have any long-term plans for this team. So that's not that big of a deal either. Well, I could have had it somewhere, sure. I'll give you that. Damn it, who's Skyping me? Uh, um, okay, so really, not that big of a deal in my opinion. We will get on without Edge. I'm tired of everyone going insane over this crap. Oh my god. Sorry about this guy, this guy's really annoying. We're gonna move on without Edge. Okay, we can do it. Oh, the show must go on. Is it a long injury? Yes. I heard two stories. I heard it was an Achilles tendon, and the other one I heard was an ACL. Achilles tendon, you might actually be out longer than an ACL, because some doctors tell you not to take the surgery just to like let it heal, you know, a little bit. And uh, some guys do that, but like it never really fully heals. And then some guys take the surgery and it heals, but they'll be out for like an extra, an extra six or seven months. So, and also the surgery I heard is kind of expensive. So, it depends on what route James Andrews goes on that with Edge. Um, so, I think that's my video for today. I'm going to watch Super Card of Honor 4. And Big Rat 310 is here, and he's out. Peace. Goodbye. See y'all later. 10. Also, happy 4th of July. And for those of you who didn't get to see fireworks... Sucks to be you is all I can say, because I had a really great time tonight. Out, peace.